Hello? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, calm down, what happened? Oh, he didn't come home. Oh, he feeling himself, bitch, he grown. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, I'ma talk to him, I'ma talk to him. I'ma get his ass over here. Miles. All right, girl, calm down, bye. So now, my godson went to the prom and he had a good time, bitch. Without the prom was over, bitch, he didn't come home. Okay, his mother was calling the motherfucking phone, bitch. I mean, she was calling the motherfucking phone like she was trying to reach the radio station and win tickets. Seriously, bitch. Seriously, so I started calling. I wasn't getting no answer. So finally, I called my godson up and I told him to meet me over my house and let's have some Popeye chicken and let's talk about this shit because you went missing and we almost put your ass on the milk cart. So, speaking of prom, what happened? You never actually told me what actually happened. Like, why you went answering the phone? Why you didn't come straight home? You I was in that hotel fucking. I wasn't doing that. We had... That was something like a kickback. And my mom wasn't trying to let me go, so... Where the kickback consist of? Sex? Drugs? Not... Not sex. Sex doesn't have to be involved in everything, bro. But at your day and time, y'all do a lot of fucking. Y'all do... Earth was keeping real. Yeah, that's true, but it's not something that I'm involved in. But why would you turn your phone off and don't let your mother know what's going on? Because I knew she wouldn't let me go. So that's being disobeyed. Just that's disobeying your mother. I guess you could say that. No, it's not fucking. I guess you could say that. That's what it is, her. It's real out here. Now, what if something would have happened to you? And your mother would have no idea what happened to you, all because you want to turn your phone on because you want some dick and weed. You laughing? I'm serious. No, it was just I knew she wouldn't let me go. And I mean, yeah, I get it. She wouldn't know where I was, so yeah, that was wrong. But you already know people getting pulled over, beat by the police. You know, the police think everybody's Rodney King. Like it's serious out here, and it's scary. And then you are black, and then you are gay. You know what I'm saying? So that's like devil on your trouble. It's scary out here for you. And then you even have to protect yourself within the community because people are fucking unprotected and they carrying that monkey on their back. HIV. It's real out here. So it's just important. You know what I'm saying? That you keep in communication with your mother and let your mother know what's going on with you. That's scary. Then now you had me calling and you wasn't picking up the phone on my calls. That's a fucking problem. You gotta respect people that you need things from. No, for real, Earth. You hit me up when you need things. You know what I'm saying? But don't duck me when I'm concerned about where you are. So, you was in there smoking, sucking a little dead. No, but we wasn't doing nothing like that. Actually, nothing happened because I got too wasted. Oh, you a fish. So, you go. You a fucking fish. No, I I be chilling. Okay, well, what you mean she don't know? You know what I'm saying? What you drink out of a cooler? Like, what the fuck? If you don't tell your mother, at least tell me somebody have to know. You got to have somebody older that will persuade you to do the right things that you can confine in. You can't keep everything within. You know what I'm saying? You have to tell somebody. Yeah. No, it's like... I I keep drinking. Like, as in, like, if someone else is like, oh, we're about to take another shot, I'm, I'm with it. But, like... Like, my boyfriend was there, so he said, like, he said, okay, this is your last one. And then we went back to my room, and I fell asleep. Did you fell asleep, or you fell on top of him? No, no, no. I fell asleep. Mm -hmm. Pause. I don't give a fuck, good, good girlfriends. I ask my godson what I want to know. See, the problem is we don't talk to these kids. We got to be up front with these kids. You got damn right I ask him. Uh-huh. Seriously. Yeah, he said, I blacked out, so he's like, he just wanted me to take it. Go to sleep because he doesn't so drink. So he didn't take advantage of you? No. Okay. He doesn't drink, so. I ask fucking questions. For real, I ask questions. I need to know. Mm -hmm. Okay, but okay. So the career that you're doing, which is a dancer, you know all of that stuff is unhealthy for your body. And see, you don't have no effect of it right now because you're so young. You know what I'm saying? Everything is so youthful. But if you get old, and then all those things that you used to do in your younger years catch up with you. You know? 
wrinkle face. You know what I'm saying? Your skin start overlapping like some baggy jeans. You know, for real. Knees start giving out on you. Stuff like that. Your kidneys start failing. You have to think right now to prepare for the future. You know, if you want to be a successful dancer, you can't be a drunk. Ain't nobody going to want no drunk dancer. You leaping this shit going into the crowd. <laughs> Fuck. That's a lawsuit. No. You got to get it together. I understand you young and you want to have fun. I get that. Because when I was young, I wanted to have fucking fun. You know what I'm saying? But I was smart about the fun that I got into. For real. I think I just need to... Why do you think I look like this? I am snatched. For real, bitch. I don't have no wrinkles, no bags, no nothing. I don't drink or smoke weed. I take care of myself. There's no magic potion, Eric. For real. There's only scissors and knives. And that don't work on everybody. For real. So, yeah, you got good together. I want to learn the... I want to know, like... The value, because I do want to party and have fun, but then again, I do. I am very serious about my craft. But then again, I think when you when you're into your craft, you can't really party and stuff. Right. When you're serious about it. Right. So you can't think about partying all the time. Partying comes later. Right now, what you have to do is grind. All that other shit gonna be there. Boys, drugs, alcohol. That shit gonna always be there. But a real Established career, bitch. You only got one shot for that, and you don't sacrifice that for alcohol, drugs, and dick. You always laughing. I'm serious. Oh yeah, for real. And I know you be all. Oh, oh, he's so cute. Oh, he's so cute. Look at his eggplant and all that shit. Oh my god. But I'm letting you know now. Everything that look good ain't good. The finest niggas out here. The finest niggas could be out here on these motherfucking streets. Bitch. Sick as a patient. Sick as a fucking patient. You laughing, I'm serious. For real. Sick as shit, but look good. You would never know. He ain't gonna tell you because he's embarrassed. His pride. He not gonna tell you. He just wants you because you young and available and gullible. That's it. You gotta be careful out here, Earth. So promise me that you are gonna tell me everything. I promise, because I know I can't do it to my mom. She's terrified of this. Lifestyle, Yeah. and she should be. And you even scan her more. You giving that bitch nightmares, cause you sneaking. You gotta be honest with somebody. Or you have to confide in me, so I can help you. I just wanna look out for you, make sure that you around to even just Accomplish your dreams. To be honest with you, I ain't trying to be your fucking daddy. Mm mm. That's an extra bill. See, I gotta be honest with my godson. I don't know what the fuck y'all do with y'all god kids, but I gotta be honest with my godson. It's real out here. You gotta be up front with these kids. Appreciate me means so much to me. Fast as shit. That's what happens when you run from the face all your life. 
Okay, good little girlfriend, so your duty on duty decide to get in shape, bitch. Yeah. Yes, because when I'm on the stage moving my motherfucking hips, I gotta be moving them, really. Bitch, seriously, I can't be getting tired and stiff as a dick. A bitch gotta be moving. So today, I have my first appointment with my fitness trainer, my personal trainer, Black. Yes, and it's getting real. Never let an ex-convict train you. He doing that jail shit. Okay. Break him up and shock him. If you don't, the pain, this is my philosophy. I think the pain only there because my, you got senses in your body. And when you work them, they go off. Panic mode, this is what I call it, panic mode. Boo -boo. They go crazy. But once they get familiar, because your body, your body like a machine. They kick in like, Somebody know? Now <laughs> my talk to her in Now he got me working out, bitch, and muscles are hurting that I didn't even know exist. Why the fuck is my stomach hurting on the sides? Okay, bitch, toenails is hurting, eyebrows is hurting, everything is fucking hurting. He's working me out. This bitch is a machine. I feel like a handicapped motherfucker being picked up. We came up with the idea to start a fitness movement because I started working out and shit. So why not? You know what I'm saying? Put the shit in motion. So we got with our partners in crime, Shoot City, and they got with Reebok, and we got this fitness shit going on. So today is the first day for the photo shoot for the fitness flyer. Bitch, I'm excited. So we headed to Baltimore, the Shoot City headquarters, bitch, and to talk to our people. Teddy man, yeah. <laughs> what you doing? Well, you was in the warehouse. Mm -hmm. We did something for already. Hey, good, good girlfriend. That's all you need. You know I'm trying to get fit. So my own, my family at Shoe City and Bree Walk. Want you to help me? You. So we sitting here, we're waiting, we're waiting, and we're waiting. We're waiting for Nikhil, okay? She's the marketing director for Shoe City, and she's the one that planted this shit, and she ain't here. Now we sitting here waiting, okay? Longer than the 911 call, bitch. We're waiting. You can't for that, Joe. You need to get in here. I know, Nikhil. Tell the man to tell the plane to tell the plane to turn around. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me do it. Let me do it. Well, you need to get out the bed and come up here. Let me see. Cause it's these Puma slides and Alexander McQueen that I want, and they said I gotta talk to you. Stokey's here, but he's in the he's always in the meet. <laughs> he's always in the meet. Talking to people from up the street. Okay, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Hey Nigel. No, Lonnie's not feeling well. <laughs> so when she come, well, you gonna be nice? Yeah, as long as it's not crooked. No. That weak. You can't be going in Those glasses are sitting. <laughs> Those give me dead drops. No, you didn't listen. I said, Lonnie, look at it. You said I'm take me home. <laughs> we was out of town here. When we was in Baltimore, I got him at the curb show. At the oh, curb that was rock. cute. Yeah. Was cute. They was 30. That was a cute. But they cute. They worth 30. Those give me um little Wayne teardrops, bitch. Is that what they get? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm so sad. Help me. I'm bored. <laughs> <laughs> I'm you working them hips oh, out. Yeah, I got to go to work out with you. Yeah, you got to. to. What you been doing? What are you working at? You know they're doing. doing. She took a vacation. And she's on her way. The vacation has ended. You the buyer now, though, right? Yes. Yeah, she got a promotion. Yes. She over here? Yeah. You called her? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah. 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 Look at you. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. She was just excited. I <laughs> Okay, what about the they got the clothes, we're about to get them on them. And I have some ideas. Ideas from me? Mm-hmm. For the photo shit. That's the dancer boy, right? Yeah. I, mean, I feel his face. I feel his face. That's it, that's a dick. I'm not giving that. Seriously, okay? That ain't putting me in positions where my body is aching because I already was working out with Super Black. So this shit is hurting. So I'm trying to do the best that I can do, Google Girlfriends, just for you.
came out my friends have came out people from my neighborhood have came out and of course my good good girlfriends have came out my best friends are even here oh we having a good time good good girlfriends the support for health is real they gave them, they gave them all away the look 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 i did my part Okay, and stop questioning. Stop, stop asking shit. Okay, bitch. I just ate what else? Anti-house. I just ate what else. Don't that was it was, well, bitch. You, should, you be happy when somebody give you something for free. Pause. So I'm sitting here with my best friend Squidget, and she ain't working out. The only thing she's working out is her goddamn mouth. First of all, she's sitting here trying to be cute. She got on a cute jumpsuit, cute glasses, and cute finger waves that's still in place. Her shit should look like an angry ocean now. How hard we working out, but she ain't doing shit. But that's my best friend. Love her. Okay. Do you ask the do you ask the um the hairdresser? What's your giveaways? Bobby pants, bitch. That's the giveaways. No, it was just bags. It was just bags.
Coming out of proud of shoot city. I'm proud of Reebok, my bitch is just proud. Seriously, like Tina Turner, bitch, proud Murray. I'm excited. All right, but we want to do this quick because we got to be out of here by 12. Because we don't want to keep getting fit and get charged. Yes, Google Girlfriends, I hope y'all enjoyed episode two. Yes, I met with my godson and I had to sit down and have a face-to-face -face conversation with his ass, bitch. Real, raw, and uncut. Yes, I also went to a fashion show and I enjoyed myself a night on the town in the DMV where I live. Good morning. Me and my trainer met up for the first time and he worked a bitch out. Seriously, okay? And I did the photo shoot for Reebok to prepare for my workout in DC that was a success. Oh, it was so amazing. I'm glad that y'all took the time to watch this and can't wait to episode three. Oh, cause shit's gonna continue to get real.